what's up guys learning with rich here in this video uh, we are going to continue our bookcase family creation so this time i'm gonna show you how to create the enclosure panel okay so we are going to create a vertical enclosure panel somewhere here and let's start so we are going to make that on the front view so let's go to the front view and okay so let me just change this to wireframe okay and then i'm gonna create a reference plane here so reference plane use the line and then you can pick here from here so we will be using this uh, reference plane as the enclosure length parameter okay so to do that i'm gonna use the align dimension so you click that you click the dimension and then you click here and then you click outside and then select modify and then after that you can click now the the dimension and just like what we have learned so you can click the create parameter here and then we are going to create now the parameter and close sure for the uh, length okay so enclosure length again it will gonna be a type parameter and we're gonna place that under the group dimensions okay then select okay right okay and then after that um, I'm now going to create the geometry of our uh, model here so to create the geometry so let's go to the create let's create extrusion and then let's use rectangle here so i'm going to create a rectangle here okay and then i'll select here modify and then after that i'm going to use the align tool to align to the top of my uh, top panel there and then i'm going to align this and then here the bottom and then here to this reference plane there you go okay and by the way don't forget to lock this so let me just lock this one so if you in case you forgot or you forget how to lock it so just make sure you just need to select again the sketch so once you select the sketch you can drag that and then after that you can select the lock icon okay so like for example i want to align this line here so i'm going to click this line and then drag drag down to that line and then you can see the lock icon there just click that to lock it okay so same with this one so i'm gonna move it here and then i'm gonna drag again and then lock okay so that's what you do if ever you forgot to lock your sketch okay just drag and then after that for this one we're going to apply the panel thickness parameter for the panel uh, for our vertical enclosure thickness okay so to do that let me just place first an align dimension so i'm gonna pick here and then i'm gonna pick this uh, line here so i'm gonna place somewhere here okay and then we're going to apply the panel thickness so just click the dimension and then look for the panel thickness and there you go and then after that just select modify okay and then after that just finish your uh, extrusion so click that and then if you go to the 3d view so this is now how it looks like but what we want is we want to extend this extrusion up to this face here so that's why on the ref level on the top view i'm gonna change my visual style to wireframe so i can see my uh, geometry so i'm gonna click this and then i'm gonna drag that and then lock it okay so same with this i'm gonna click the geometry and then i'm gonna align it there and then lock it 
okay and then after that let us now check the 3d view and there you go okay so we still have space there for our next panel creation but for now so this is already enough now the next thing that we're gonna do is let's modify the types here so let's go to the family types on our 72 18 48 type so let's change the mm, enclosure length just make that two feet enter and then apply there you go so that's the enclosure length for this type so let's apply that as well to the other type so let's click that 60 18 by 60 and then change the enclosure length to two feet as well and then don't forget to apply and same with our 36 12 by 36 let's change the two feet apply and there you go so as you can see our model is working uh, properly so if i change this to uh, 72 18 48 apply so as you can see it's changing properly without any error so that is what you do every time you apply parameter you always flex your model if it is working properly or not okay so that's it for our simple exercise so for our next video we are going to create the bookcase door okay so thank you for watching guys have a nice day